And uh, just lastly, before we let you go, there's someone um, curious here uh, asking about what the U.S. Uh, basically gets from, from, from Sierra Leone. Why is the U.S. so interested in, in, in Sierra Leone? Well, I think I, I'd say a few things. First, we have some very large investment investors who are working in the Sierra Leonean economy, uh, which puts Sierra Leone on the map, so to speak, in the United States. Sierra Leone is going to be a member of the United Nations Security Council in just a few days. So that in and of itself raises Sierra Leone's international profile and the interest of the United States. We see Sierra Leone as a country that can help provide stability in West Africa. Um, we believe that Sierra Leone has been a constructive participant over many years in issues of peace and security. So therefore, we have a strong interest in working with the government there. And then finally, I don't think you can undercut the historical ties between the countries. Um, as I said when I was first con confirmed to be ambassador here, we have a hundreds of thousands of American citizens who trace their lineage back to Sierra Leone. Um, they are very invested in what happens in this country because this is where their ancestors came from. Uh, and they care passionately about what, what happens here. And I think that is an important tie that's going to continue to exist between the two countries and part of what is going to continue to fuel a reciprocal interest on both sides in seeing a strong, constructive relationship. Okay. Well, uh, so, Francis Joseph Matia, I hope that answers your question. Yeah, of course, I'm the, uh, still on the MCC score. People are still concerned of, you know, how long the timeliness and timeliness of this thing, how long is it going to actually take for us to be able to actually achieve or no. sign that to, to get um, the benefits that we're supposed to achieve? Yeah, so I think that's a question that is best posed to the government and the opposition. Um, the Electoral Review Committee can move as quickly or as slowly as its members want to. Mm -hmm. If they want to see the MCC signed quickly, I would encourage that body to take up its work, produce its recommendations to Parliament, and put legislation forward to begin the institutional reforms. Mm -hmm. If they want to take a more deliberative approach, that is absolutely the right of government and opposition, and I don't want in any way to tell them that they should um, should ignore due, due diligence and strong deliberations, but people need to understand that the slower the committee does its work, the longer it will take to sign the MCC. The faster the committee does its work, the faster we can sign the final compact. I think that's clear enough. <laughs>